not too long ago I had like a puzzle on one of my videos where I I kind of posed a puzzle and wanted to see kind of who could figure it out. And I didn't really expect it to to go so well. I thought that it was really too esoteric, but it turns out that someone someone got it pretty quickly. Um, this person is Lexi Pender, and uh, she correctly guessed. Hmm, she correctly guessed the puzzle and the answer to the puzzle. So it was really incredible of her. She asked me a number of questions. And basically, wants me to go into kind of more detail about some various things about my transition. So I'm gonna just answer these questions now, and this is unrehearsed. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna go, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. First one: When did you start asking yourself whether or not you were trans? I never asked myself specifically if I if I was trans or not. I, in fact, I don't think that I really started thinking about transitioning until after I started, where I had started seeing a therapist and was just kind of sharing my thoughts, sharing everything that was going through my head, and <clears throat> just kind of made sense to me to step forward, take the next step, go outside, dress like a girl. In that period, what was the trigger, the catalyst? So the, the trigger was really the fact that my relationship wasn't working out. Um, despite doing everything I could to make it work out, um, and and Ava also doing everything she could to make it work out, I guess it's so strange. I didn't start transition. I didn't think about transitioning until I started. Could you describe the emotions going through you in that period? This is this was my time of exploration where I was going shopping for women's clothes, going out in women's clothes and makeup. Um, practicing my voice, researching about the entire transition, surgeries and effects of hormones and all sorts of stuff was going on. So I would say that the emotions that I really felt strongest were confusion. You know, I, I was pretty sad because I had just lost this really long-term relationship and so I was sad and I was confused and I was really feeling lost. When you started cross-dressing, what did you feel? We had a piece of lingerie in this in this uh, dress-up clothes pile, and I, like it, had, it was unlike anything I'd ever seen before. And um, I remember putting it on, and I think I first put it on over my underpants, and I was like, "Well, this doesn't this doesn't look right" or something. Like I knew it was wrong, and so then I tried taking off my underpants and putting it on. And when I looked at myself in the mirror, I was like, well, this doesn't work, or this doesn't fit. Like, there's all sorts of junk down there, and how's how's this little tiny crotch on this thing supposed to work with me? Did you experience a zigzag of emotions, ranging from feeling ridiculous to feeling this is the real me about cross-dressing? I never really felt like this was the real me when I would cross-dress because I never really saw a different person in the mirror when I did cross-dress. I would sneak around and put on women's clothes like no one knew I was doing this. It, so I guess it did zigzag from like intense happiness to like shame and embarrassment and like the more I did it I kind of realized um, you know this is not something boys do and why am I doing this, or why do I like it so much? I just knew that I needed to keep it secret. In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have gone to my parents and talked to them about what was going on, so that we could have got me to a therapist when I was like still a teenager, or younger, and then maybe I would have transitioned much earlier. So the next question is, back then, did you tell anyone about your cross-dressing? If so, what were their reactions? I There was a time when I had a friend over and I put on that lingerie again while they were around. And, um, you know, they got really uncomfortable. And um, I didn't quite understand why. I didn't understand that what I was doing was cross-dressing. Next question is, did you experience shame with no one around? And how did you cope? Um, I did experience shame. I experienced a lot of shame. 
and I coped by keeping it a secret, not telling anybody, and not doing anything to let anyone know that this kind of stuff was going on in my head. You know, there were some times when I would wear makeup, too. Like, my parents would go out on a date and um, leave me a home alone. You know, when I was alone, I would, you know, put on some women's clothing, and I would put on some of my mother's makeup. And, um, and one time, I got caught. It's kind of amazing that my parents didn't kind of figure out what was going on, even though, well, I mean, I was pretty secretive about it, but that was definitely one time when, when, when I thought that they knew something was up for sure. When and how did you achieve total acceptance of your feminine self? What was the moment when you decided you were trans? I think I honestly started accepting myself when I began my transition. You know, I had painted myself into a corner where I was so unhappy and I was having so many problems and anxiety and I couldn't really get this stuff out of my head about having a woman's body. Everything was so new and scary and I didn't really I didn't really think I was going to do it. I didn't think I was going to make it. I, I always thought that I would... I'll take a step forward, whatever that next step is. Like, it, there was even stages of just having the courage to talk to people about it and to open up. But I, I think that there was not one particular moment when I achieved acceptance of my feminine self. It was really, I had just decided that I needed to transition no matter what. Or that I needed to explore. And I was always prepared that if things didn't go right, or if I didn't feel good about what was happening, that I would just stop and I would cancel my transition and then I would go back to the drawing board and figure out like, what's actually wrong with me. Uh, and it turns out that being trans is just what was wrong with me. Every step of the way felt like it was right for me. And I tried to be honest with myself about it, like, is this really right? Is this really making me happy? Or is this you know, a temporary solution to some tangential problem. I mean, it helped to meet people and to have friendship and find community and, you know, these people, these my, my, my new friends could teach me and, and kind of hold my hand and be my mentors and, um, you know, prepare me for all the things I was going to have to do. Even though I get doubts sometimes, I still feel like this is the best thing that I've ever done for myself. And I am really just so much happier and so much more at peace um, with myself and, and the world around me. And, you know, air tastes sweeter and sun is brighter and shinier and feelings of happiness are newer and, and better. And just, I know it was right. It's been a long journey and it's been a lot of work, and it's been filled with disappointment and depression and anxiety and pain and loss and exploration and newness and fear and just all these emotions. And I think that, you know, I've always been a pretty emotional person. Like, I, I guess women are, are usually more emotional than men. Um, but this... This has been the craziest roller coaster of two years that I've ever, ever ridden. Um, and it's been worth every step because I've found, I've found out so much about myself and what I want and who I am and what's important to me and what kind of girl do I want to be. I don't want to be misleading, you know, transition is hard and if you are someone that is considering transition, um, I would encourage you to do your research and figure out what all is involved and really you should meet other trans people and talk to them and ask them questions and try to find some friends and some mentors and, you know, explore. So, Lexi, thank you for, for solving the puzzle and um, thank you for writing these questions and I hope that these answers are eye-opening for you in some way, or helpful. That's all for now. Take care, and I'll see you next time.